Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today again we are here with another problem. Problem is find if path exists in graph. Very easy problem. So <coughs> so we are given a bidirectional uh, bi graph, okay, with n vertices, and where each vertex is labeled from zero to n minus one. Okay, so if there are three vertices. Label will be from zero to n minus one, like zero to three minus one, zero to like two. So zero, one, two. The edges in the graph are represented as a two D integer array edges. So these are the edges which are given to us. So that is there is an edge from zero to one. There is an edge from one to two. There is an edge from two to zero, and these edges are bidirectional, guys. Just see this thing, this word bidirectional. So if there is an edge from one to two. There will be also edge from two to one. Okay, uh, it's a bidirectional edge. Okay, so we have to determine if there is a path exists between source to destination. So source is given, which is zero. That is, this is a source, and destination is two. So we have to tell whether there is a path that exists from source to destination or not. So we are given edges. Uh, and we have to determine whether there is a path or not. Okay, so let's see how we can approach it. <clears throat> so let's say. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, there are multiple. See here, what basically we have to do. We are we are given a source, we are given a destination, and we just need to check whether there is path or not. Path. Or not. Basically, if we start traversing, so when there is this thing, right, path or not, it just basically means that if we start traversal of the graph from source, will like will be able able to reach destination or not. If we are able to reach the destination from this source, then there is a path. Then we have to return true. Otherwise, if we are not able to reach the destination, then there is not a path, so we'll have to return false. Basically, we just need to traverse the graph, right? We just need to traverse. We just need to traverse the graph. So traversal, there are two algorithms which you can follow for traversing a graph, which is one is depth first search, another is breadth first search. So in this video, I'll be discussing depth first search approach. Okay, if you want, I can make a video on breadth first search also. Let me know in the comments if you want video on that. Also, there is one another method by which we can solve this problem, which is a union find algorithm. Union find. So if you want the uh, video on that also, let me know in the comments. Right, I'll definitely make a video on it. But in this video, we'll be discussing DFS solution. We will do DFS traversal, uh, and we will find whether there is path from source to destination or not. So this is my source. Source given is zero. Destination is two. Destination is two. I will start my depth first search. For depth first search, I will have to keep a visited array. If I do not have visited, it I will be I will be repeating the edge uh, vertices again and again. I'll be like going to them again and again, which is obviously not correct. It will be like infinite loop. For example, what I'm trying to say, see, <clears throat> uh, see, I will start the traversal. I'll let you know side by side. See what happens in depth first search. We are starting from here. Source we know, right? <coughs> we are starting initially. This visited is false for every node. For like initialize it with false. Okay, I have taken it three size because uh, total vertices are three. Okay, so that's why three size. I will start from the zero. Okay, first thing which I will do, I will check whether this zero, the current vertex, like this is my current vertex. Okay, just name it as current. I first of all I will check whether this current is equal to destination. If it is equal to destination. I found my destination. Basically, I am. We know that we are starting from source. So, if any time in the future I am able to find my destination, it means there is a path, right? So we can return true. 
ओके अदरवाइज आई विल चेक आई विल चेक इज दिस इज दिस नोट ऑलरेडी विजिटेड दैट इज हैव आई ऑलरेडी विजिटेड करेंट इफ सी गाइज इफ ऑलरेडी आई हैव विजिटेड दिस करेंट लेट से आई हैव ऑलरेडी विजिटेड जीरो अर्लियर समाइम सो ऑब्वियसली देर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ अगेन विजिटिंग इट राइट वील बी जस्ट वी विल जस्ट बी गोइंग इन अ लूप बिकॉज वी हैव लेट्स ए वी आर वी हैव कवर्ड दिस पॉइंट एंड अगेन वी कम टू दिस पॉइंट सो वॉट वॉट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ दैट राइट वी आर डूइंग द सेम थिंग अगेन सो इट्स लाइक लूप इनफाइनाइट लूप सो इफ वी हैव ऑलरेडी विजिटेड दिस करेंट राइट जस्ट सिंपली रिटर्न फॉल्स फ्रॉम यूर दैट जस्ट रिटर्न फॉल्स बिकॉज देर इज नो पाथ अदरवाइज otherwise now first of all you will do what you will mark this current as visited now because you have visited it if it's not visited obviously then only you will come to this point and if it's not visited now you will make it visited so now zero we are starting from starting right so zero is not right now not visited so now i will make it visited because i have visited zero i'll make it visited okay now fourth point now fourth point is i will iterate iterate on its edges uh, on its uh, adjacent vertices adjacent vertices this is what we do in dfs right we check the current node and then we go to its vertices uh, its neighbors so we'll have a loop here in which we will go to the vertices like the adjacent what is is of that edge <clears throat> okay so first of all now i and here now we will make a recursive call in which now the source we will pass as the adjacent vertex okay so this is how dfs works now my current will not be this one now my current will become let's say i am going first on this neighbor so there are two neighbors for zero there are two neighbors one and two right there are two neighbors so one by one we will go to each of them first i am going to one okay first i am going to one so now my current is here so again same steps is current equal to destination no destination is two current is one not then if this current is already visited visited of current visited of one is false so it's not visited then since we have visited it now we'll have to mark it as true one means true so here just mark it as true <coughs> okay and now now we will uh, fourth step is what to iterate on its adjacent vertices so what is adjacent vertices of one it's zero right adjacent is zero and adjacent is two So first I will go to zero. So I will go to zero. I will check is zero equal to destination? No. So basically now your current will become zero again. Okay. So we will check whether uh, current which is zero is equal to destination. No. Is car is visited is current true? So visited of current visited. of current which is zero Vis current is zero right so visited of zero is what true that means we have already visited zero why to again visit it okay so in that case just return false so from here from here we just got false so we come back again to this one and now we will make the second call to the second neighbor of one which is Two. So current will now become two. Okay, current will now become two. Now see guys very carefully. Current is what two? Is it equal to destination? Yes, two is equal to two. Hence we just return true from here. From here we return true. Now from here for for this one. there were two recursive calls one for this zero and one for this two from zero we got false from two we got uh, true so what do you think we should do here for 
from 1 what we should return from return it should we should return like if any of the recursive calls gives 1 or uh, gives true so we'll just we have to return true okay so let's quickly see the code once for this you'll better understand i would highly recommend just dry run once okay so see here we are given this um edges array and the start and the end so we have created this uh, edges and uh, you can say edges and see list where we are uh, just showing the uh, current edge and its edges and edge edges and edge and its current like basically we are um, we are kind of making edges and see list since this is bidirectional so this is the first like basically if there is an edge from 0 to v, uh, u to v first we are storing that from u to v and then we are storing it from v to u here that's why two lines okay after that we have taken visited array initially given all values 0 basically means false 0 means false and we are starting dfs so now these four now comes these four points these four <coughs> first if current is the destination if current is destination just return true then if visited is already true that is if visited is there return false otherwise mark it as visited mark it as visited and then iterate on each of the vertices edges and vertices if for any of the edges and vertices you get true for example for this one from edges and vertex from this two edges and vertex you get true so just return true otherwise if you do not get anything return false so just dry run one set uh, with the you can dry run it with this example and just see how algorithm is working time complexity is o of n where n is the number of vertices and space is also o of n so let me know in the comments if any doubts if you want me to make a video on breakfast search and union fine let me know in the comments as well uh, if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you